Hey Buzzheads, uh, Curtis Tucker here downtown at the uh, Wooden Children's uh, Project. It's the Garfield County Children's Advocacy uh, Group. I don't know. Anyway, sorry. Um, everybody's gathering here. People have um, dressed up these wooden figures. Each one represents an abused child in Garfield County. They're now putting them up. I'm going to flip this back around and show you guys. Um, the uh, Ambulance Life Ambulance just brought theirs in on a stretcher. They're getting ready to put theirs up. So uh, different organizations, different families, different groups have each adopted one of these uh, wooden figures and then they've clothed them. They've uh, got little descriptions on them. I'll show you guys uh, one here in a sec. We are on the courthouse lawn. This is live, so come on down. And uh, I think they're gonna have a, a speaker or two here talking about this, kind of explaining what it is, but uh, getting all of the kids uh, put up right now. Yeah, very sad, Brenda, but yeah, it, the, the thing about this is it brings a lot of, uh, sheds a lot of light on how many kids are being abused in Garfield County. And once you drive by here on the Garfield County uh, Courthouse lawn and you see all these wooden figures, it kind of brings it into perspective. So a lot of help if you guys can donate or you can volunteer for things that they have going on, uh, do that. And uh, they're probably gonna be looking for hosts for some of these wooden figures for next year. And again, a uh, nice crowd gathering here right now. So come on down. It's The uh, weather is beautiful here on the Garfield County Courthouse lawn. Uh, come on down and listen to all the stats and the information that they have on these kids and, and what they're doing for them and how you guys can help. got uh, the name on the badges tells who uh, was sponsoring the wooden figure. I think they're the ones that uh, clothed it, decorated it, uh, probably painted it as well. So a lot of names I recognize here. So you guys come on down, show your support for uh, everything that these people have done. Again, if you're just joining in, uh, this is the Wooden Children's Project downtown on the courthouse lawn. Each of these wooden figures uh, equates to a child that has been abused in Garfield County. So just bringing awareness to that. And I think they're gonna have a couple of people talk here in a minute, but different families, organizations, businesses have adopted these wooden figures. They painted them, decorated them, put them down here. They've got their names on uh, each organization that helped out on each, each kid down here.
There's a couple of stakes, several stakes still left, so I think they're still waiting on some of the organizations and families to bring the rest of the wooden figures down here. There goes the uh, Life Ambulance again. They brought theirs. They uh, decorated one, brought it down in a stretcher, and uh, brought the wooden figure up up to the grass in, in the stretcher. So. We'll have a page on Enid Buzz with more information about this and how you guys can help and uh, just more details about what's going on. We should have that posted over the weekend or on Monday. So just in case you're driving by downtown, you're wondering what all these wooden figures are, that's what it is. I'm not sure if they're going to have somebody speak or not. I'll, uh, I'm going to stay live for a couple more minutes and see if uh, they're going to have somebody talking. But uh, if not, I'm going to get out of here and uh, we will have more information on ninabuzz.com, a page with more information on it. But uh, I'll wait a few more minutes, see if they're going to have anybody speak. Enid Buzz. Oh, what is that? Well, it's kind of like an online newspaper. I'm actually streaming live right now. So people are kind of watching everybody, what's going on, and I'm kind of explaining. Do you know if anybody's going to be speaking? I have no idea. I was getting ready to talk to the lady that's in charge. Okay. Yeah, this is... Yeah, if you go to enidbuzz.com, uh, basically all the news and information okay. from Enid on there, and then we've got a Facebook page where I go live and all that stuff. So. <laughs> Download our mobile app and you, you won't lose us again. So we've got a we've got a free mobile app. I'll try that later. Okay. But I'll get it. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome.
Okay, Buzzheads, if you just joined in, we are down on the courthouse lawn and they are setting up the wooden children's project. I think uh, somebody's gonna speak here in a second. And each one of these wooden figures uh, is equivalent to a child that was abused in Garfield County in the past year. And it's just to bring attention. County Child Advocacy Committee and April is a month set aside to be aware of child abuse and preventing it. The Garfield County Child Advocacy Council was established a little over 20 years ago and it served hundreds of children and their families during that time. It's the goal of, the, of our agency to work with children and their families from the time of disclosure to get back to their home environment or to get to a safe home. The mission of Garfield County Child Advocacy is to stop child abuse, neglect, and exploitation as we strengthen our community by advocating for our children through prevention, education, and intervention. And I, I know it's kind of hard to write this down, but remember this telephone number. There's one thing that our community can do, and it's to, to, to spot child abuse, and when you see it, to report it. And so I'd encourage you all to write down this number. It's 1-800-522-3511. I'll say that again, 1-800-522-3511. We hope that this display will serve as a reminder um, of all the children that have been protected this year. There's 246 um, little wooden children here and it represents um, each of these as the children that we've helped protect this year. Uh, I wanna introduce Lori Leaf, uh, that's part of our board and she's on the PR uh, committee who has the great job of thanking everybody that helps us, so turn this over to Glory. Hi, first of all, I want to say thank you all for being out here today and supporting this event. Um, like he said, we have 246 uh, wooden children who represent victims of child abuse in the county. We had 127 sponsors this year, 56 were businesses, and 71 were individuals. So thank you all again for being a part of this. I wanna say thank you to a few more people. Um, Chisholm High School Student Council helped us a lot this year. We had volunteers who put the rebar in that hold the wooden figures. Um, the we'll have volunteers remove the display on May 1st and volunteers who put together the process for getting all of these picked up. Um, we just thank you all so much. It's a big group effort and thanks again for being here. I want to also give a big thank you to Sheila McHenry for her leadership on this project. I'd like to uh, also invite you to the Victims Vigil on April the 10th. It's going to be at the YWCA and that'll start at 6 o'clock. I invite you just to take some time and walk around the Wooden Children, see how cute and unique each one of them is and how they've been decorated. But really to just to think about all the kids in our community that have been impacted this year, years in the past, and probably unfortunately years in the future. And uh, more than anything, just thanks for coming. Thanks for your your help with this cause. Okay, hey, Buzzheads, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, again, we will have more information about the Wood Children's Project on enabuzz.com. We've got a page with that information. We will update it for this year. 246 uh, wooden figures out here. And again, that is equivalent to uh, kids that they have taken in and helped. So let's stop this. Everybody uh, get on the page. Help find uh, ways that we can uh, support the kids in Garfield County. 
And uh, thank you guys for checking in. Please share this. Let other people know what these wooden figures are for. It's to help bring attention to what's going on. And so everybody have a great weekend. Happy Easter. And we'll talk to you guys soon.